Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, this is Austin Linney here with Construct Your Life. Welcome back to uh, the Wednesday Rant. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is a loaded word. The loaded word is success. Um, you know, everybody goes about trying to define it. Um, they try to say, well, what does success look like to you? Well, I don't know. That guy's successful. I want to be like him. And, and that, that is great in theory. And you can definitely model your life after other people. Um, But as I was walking on the beach this morning, I was thinking to myself, um, you know, regardless of the amount of money you have in your bank account or how many deals that you've done, um, you know, are you living your truths? Are you living your life? And I I think that in in its essence is is the true definition of success. And, you know, uh, a lot of times we, especially as real estate investors or investors in general, um, we class up ourselves against other people. He's got 6,000 apartments. I, I can never be like him. You know, he's very successful. Yeah, that's great. But what if his family life and personal life is in shambles? Is that success? Not to me. You know, I model my life after guys that have a great family life, that have a whole life millionaire. And, um, you know, when you're truly executing in all areas of your life, uh, giving time to your kids, giving time to your spouse and, and, and personal time to yourself to fill into yourself, you know, that is the true definition of success. So, you know, if you listen to this podcast a lot, um, you know, I talk a lot of time about goals or bullshit and, you know, goals serve a purpose. They do. Um, but when you tie them to monetary items, to things that, um, you know, you, that, that, that are for other people, uh, you know, if you truly love Corvettes and you want to get a Corvette, then by all means, get a Corvette. Like, I'm not going to say anything about it, but if you're doing these things, if you're, if you're investing in deals, you shouldn't invest in, if you're, if you're, if you're doing things, you know, that maybe are a little shady or you're working with people that you don't, um, you know, look up to, or they don't have a good moral compass, you know, what are you saying to yourself? You know, what are you saying to other people? You're saying that, you know, I just want to get there and it doesn't really matter how I do that. Well, you know, I build my life off legacy. And, and who I was when I was here on this earth and who, and who I, and how I treated people. And, you know, I still have a lot to learn. You know, I have a lot of um, failures. I have a lot of uh, missteps and relationships um, where I got triggered and was an asshole or, you know, all these things. And, but I'm going to make up for those things and I'm going to continue to get better and better every day. And, you know, so we've had an interesting couple of months, you know, I, I got laid off. Um, I'm just building my own businesses not, right now. I don't really have a source of income. But I've been at more at peace in this last two and a half months than I ever have been um, because it really stripped away um, what the definition of success really looked like. You know, I have, um, I like riding my bike. I have my bikes. I have my running shoes. uh, I have clothes. I'm healthy. You know, these are the defining factors of success. Um, You know, I have a great friend of mine in Austin, uh, Matt Tefke. He's an amazing investor and even better person. You know, he said something to me a week ago, and it, it really struck me, and it, it set with me, and it's kind of molding who I'm becoming right now. And he said, "Be careful when you're when you're reaching for success, or you're reaching for the next goal or the next thing. You know, you might be living your life exactly what you were trying to construct right now." And that extremely hit home to me because you know we as people are always looking for the next relationship, the next deal, the next business, the next promotion, the next, all those things. And and we we don't find a lot of solace in just being a hundred percent content in who we are as it sits right now today. And, you know, I am living in that truth right now and being a hundred percent comfortable with, you know, heartbreak, with multiple things changing, you know, uh, moving, uh, you know, across the country, you know, all these things. But what I'm finding is in the little moments, um, the sunset, the sunrise, um, 
you know, a rainstorm, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting all, all romantic here, but um, you're finding peace and you're finding, you know, um, that success is really an arbitrary thing. It's, it's really whatever you want it to be. And if you deem yourself successful today, I would imagine that who you are as it sits right now is enough. You're enough. You know, and I say that to myself too, right now I'm, I'm talking to myself because, you know, when we can truly live in the fact that we, as we sit, good, bad, or indifferent, um, right as we sit today is enough. That person is plenty good enough and you only know what you don't know. And so when we remove expectations of who we need to be or who we need to show up for and, and we just be ourselves, you know, really that's the true essence of life. You know, I can't control how the message is taken when I put it out, but all I am is just speaking from my opinion. And if it hits you and it affects one person, then I've done my job. And, and that's the truth that I live in. And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a man who lives a life out of, out of intention, not goals. And my intention is to be getting better every day, uh, to leave this world better than I lost, left it, and, and, and to stand up for, for who I believe that I am. And, you know, faults, um, missteps, alcoholism, uh, drugs, those are all part of the journey. Uh, to make me who I am today because I was strong enough to carry it. And because I weathered those storms and because I walked through the hell and back multiple times, many rock bottoms, um, it allows me to be more empathetic uh, as a coach. It allows me to um, get down there with my clients when they're at rock bottom and say, yeah, I know. <laughs> I slept in a closet. I was there. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you're down there. And what I'm basically wanting to get across with this message is that, you know, look in the mirror and ask yourself, who are you living your life for? You know, who are you living it for yourself? If you're living it for yourself and you're hundred percent happy, then, then life's good. And I don't have nothing to say to you, but if you're making arbitrary goals or arbitrary purposes, purchases on cars, homes, um, you know, real estate deals, over leveraging real estate deals um, because you need to get a deal done because it looks better when I put it on Facebook or Instagram or blah, 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 blah. And, you know, we've had so, I've had so many failures in business, but I'm, but I, but I guarantee to you one thing, I'm going to get up every damn time and I'm going to live in abundance. And when I started doing that, when I started just taking care of myself, you know, because the only thing you can control in this world, the only thing is how you show up in it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Life is a choice. And every day that you choose to see everything as a, a gift, even the failures, even the heartbreak, that is a day where you can smile. And you can smile greatly because you have chosen um, to change your perspective. You've chosen um, to live in abundance. And when your heart is full, with abundance, uh, you'd be amazed at the energy and, and what flows to you. And when you open up your heart, the universe only gives you exactly what you want when you're ready for it. So the things that you've been wishing for, the things that you've been hoping for, maybe you're not ready to receive them. And, you know, in the society that we live in right now, patience is not, <laughs> I'm not hundred percent guilty of this. Uh, patience is not a virtue by any means. But, you know, if you wake up every day and, and, you, and you love your loved ones and you, um, you be a good person and you leave an impact. And, and, and one of the things, one of the tricks that I kind of do if you're in a funk or you're, or you're not is I give. But I give no matter what, but I give even harder um, and I pour into other people during those times um, because that allows you to get out of your own way. It allows you to remove the selfishness. Uh, and it allows you to uh, seriously, you know, just change the way you look at everything, you know, like, yeah, like, dude, you might have lost your business, you might have got laid off, um, you might be fighting with your girlfriend or your wife, but I guarantee you there's somebody that's got it worse. And so, you know, if you can live in gratitude, and, and even in the darkest times, the darkest times, if you can 
focus on what you're grateful for, your health, AC, you know, uh, I got food to eat. All these things will flip the script and it'll allow you to get out of your own head, step back, and it'll allow you to assess the field. And when you can assess the field, meditate, whatever you want to do, it allows you to break down the problem. Because here's the kicker. This is what they don't tell you is that it's not about what happened to you. It's the stories that you created on top of that, that are the true defining, like the drama, right? Like, oh, this happened to me. And then I tell myself, tell myself, tell myself for years. And then you make up this story bigger than a mountain. And, you know, everybody's so scared to tell the truth because they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But it's through those fierce conversations that you set the tone on your boundaries you set the tone on your expectations and you set the tone on who, how they're going to see you. And, you know, because of that, if you, if you act as if, you know, I control me, I can't control Frank. I can't control my wife. She's maybe having a bad day. I can't control my business partner. He's going through a rough time. And if you look at their heart with empathy and you say, Hey, I can tell it's a bad day for you. Let me step back. Let me give you some space instead of getting in their face saying, why can you be that way? You know, in society right now, we've basically, nobody's allowed to feel anyway. You can't feel sad. If you're too happy, something must be wrong. If you're too sad, get your shit together. Like it's okay to like live in your shit for a while. And when you live in your stuff, you can assess it. You can flip the script and you can move forward. And that's all this, this entire rant is about, is just that it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel happy. Like, it's okay. And, and I'm, I'm talking to myself too, because I am happy right now. And there's a part of me in the back of my mind that's saying, you don't deserve to be this happy. Like, how dare you? And that's the old programming. That's the old limiting beliefs. And that's me creating drama around it. And, and I always pick on myself, because I want you to understand that I just don't come on here and it's like, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just lo loosey goosey. I don't care. No, these are all the things that creep into my mind. And so by me telling you this, I hope it makes you feel better about what you're going through or any moment in the hard time. And I always know that I'm always here if you ever need to talk. And I just really appreciate everybody listening to the podcast. The feedback has been amazing. I just really want to thank y'all so much and I love what I'm doing and I'm just going to continue to do it for y'all. I'm going to be real, authentic, and I'm just going to bring it like I see it. So thank y'all so much. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one -on -one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.